I don't want to cut my finger off trying to shave truffles into a pot pie. Everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cooper and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Kitchen. <laughs> Today's video is going to be fun because we are going to be making chicken pot pies, little individual sized ones, but we are making truffle chicken pot pies. So I have fresh black truffles here. I've never cooked anything with truffle before, um, but this is a Wolfgang Puck recipe. I'm excited. I've been prepping some of the ingredients. I say we go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is just cook the carrots and the potatoes that are going to go inside the truffle pot pies. We are going to cook these purple potatoes and these carrots for just a few minutes with some garlic and some butter. Uh, it said to do a half a pound of each one and I have no idea what a half a pound is or looks like when you're, I don't know. So this looked like a half a pound to me. I don't know, hopefully I'm right. So while I cook the vegetables, we're also gonna begin this like, kind of like a roux mixture over here. This will be the creamy part of the chicken pot pie. Yeah, so it says to melt your four tablespoons of butter in a large deep saucepan. So we'll put that guy in there and let it melt. So I cut up one shallot. I'm gonna add it to this pan. It has some melted butter in it. And I'm also gonna add just a tiny bit of garlic as well. We have our onions and our garlic doing their flavorful thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the potatoes and carrots. And I'm just gonna let these just kind of cook for a few minutes just because we want them to be soft. So our butter has melted here in this pan. And so I'm going to go ahead and add four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. You wanna whisk all this together so that there's no clumps before we add our chicken broth. Wow, check me out, freaking multitasking in the kitchen. I'm not normally good at stuff like this. So here's our little butter flour mixture. We're gonna add two cups now of chicken broth. I actually did bone, chicken bone broth, just cause I know that there's a lot of benefits to that. So we are gonna cook this until it becomes like a nice thick kind of sauce for about five to 10 minutes. And then we are going to add two tablespoons of heavy cream. So now we are gonna go ahead and add in those vegetables that we just cooked in a separate pan. The, uh, well, the carrots, the potatoes, the garlic, and the shallot. Those all can be added to the mixture now. We are also gonna add a half a cup of peas. Go ahead and add your shredded chicken. I just picked up some chicken from the store. This is all white meat shredded chicken, so I will just be shredding it piece by piece and adding it to our mixture here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep adding the chicken here, the little shredded chicken that I'm just breaking apart into pieces. And then I'll show you what we do once everything is added to the bowl. Okay, so I went ahead and finished adding all the chicken. Here is our whole mixture. This is now the part where we are going to put it in a clean bowl and then you're gonna let this chill for an hour in the fridge. But while that kind of hangs out, we are going to work on the puff pastry that's going on top. So this is the puff pastry I will be using. This will be going on top of our individual chicken pot pies. So I think we're supposed to like roll this out a tiny bit. So just roll it out a smidge. Actually really easy to roll out. <laughs> These are the sizes of the bowls that we will be using. So I am going to kind of trace around these. Now when you trace these, you want them to be just a little bit outside the edge. So 
So there's one, and when we end up doing this, they will go around the thing like that. But it is not time for that yet, so I'm gonna cut out four of these. Our lovely mixture here is chilled, so I am gonna go ahead and spoon it into our little oven safe bowls here. All right, you guys, now is the fun part. It is truffle time. Okay, so I learned a lot about truffles during my experience trying to get them. There are white truffles and black truffles, and then there's winter truffles and summer truffles. So I got whole black summer truffles, but I think that black winter truffles are like really expensive and really sought after, like $140 for one ounce. So that's a little crazy, a little out of my budget. So I went with the summer truffle, it should be good. I'm really excited. This is a little truffle shaver. So I'm going to shave little truffle shavings onto each one before we put the puff pastry on top. I hope I do this right because this is my only chance. Wow, there it is. A young truffle. Wow. Okay. Oh no. She doesn't know how to shave a truffle, everybody. Oh, I think I did it. All right. Hope I don't hurt myself. These are kind of like gooey. Don't know. Don't know really what that means. Please don't let me cut my finger off. I don't wanna cut my finger off trying to shave truffles into a pot pie. This is getting awkward. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna try something else. The shaver is giving me grief. Give me a moment. I'm gonna just try to grate this final piece because it's kind of falling apart in my hand and I don't want this to go to waste. There we go. We're gonna just kind of grate it. Truffle, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Oh my gosh. Well, this is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Thought that was gonna be more of a luxurious experience than it was. Trying to get every last bit off my finger because that little truffle was expensive. Now, we are going to do the egg wash. So, for an egg wash, you take an egg, crack it into a bowl, then you add one tablespoon of cream or water, whisk it all together, and then this is going to go on top of the puff pastry but it's also going to go around each of these bowls. I'm gonna take my little brush here with my egg wash, and you go all around the edge here. Here's our little puff pastry circles from earlier. Take these out, and I'm going to take one of them and put it around our bowl here. I'm not gonna stretch it, but I'm just kind of pinching this I'm going to set it on this baking dish. So now we'll take this and brush it all over the puff pastry. Okay, and now it's going to go in the oven. So we have a 400 degree oven and this will go in till the puff pastry is nice and golden at the top, but it looks really cute so far. Here it goes. Wow, look at these gorgeous beauties. Okay, look what just came out of the oven. The pot pies. I'm gonna crack into, crack into one here. Whoa! I'm trying to get a little bit of everything on my fork here. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. It's very hot. Gonna be a hot, hot, hot bite. I mean, it tastes pretty really good. Wow. Pretty really good. <laughs> pretty really good. I got some on my shirt. 
Oh, do you get a little kick of spice in there? Yeah. That's from yeah. cayenne pepper. Wow. These are great. <laughs> Here's the inside of one. Absolutely. Absolutely delicious. All right, so it's time to eat. It's almost 8 p.m. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you try this recipe. And time to eat. <laughs>